So boys, we're here in the black pill and to us, we feel like we're stuck. We'll be forever alone, forever lonely, forever black pilled and stuck in inceldom and being losers and feeling like losers. And yeah, it can be a loop, man. You know, we feel like we're in the constant loop and there's no escape. However, tonight I would like to propose some potential solutions to loserdom, inceldom, whatever you want to call it. Some potential solutions, I, if you could even call them solutions, it's a stretch to call these solutions. Some of these are just copes. But let me tell you guys straight up, there are not many ways to get out of this. But I do have a few and I have real potential solutions, not some bull crap, spiritual self-improvement stuff that every normal person is going to yap about. No, I'm, I'm going to give you real tangible solutions based in reality based on what the hell is going on so let's talk fellas so the first potential solution to incel them in particular is just to escort max just just pay for pussy literally that i'm telling you pay for pussy and i know that there's a huge stigma around it and if everyone would clown you for paying for pussy right but this is what men have done since like thousands of years ago right you got to remember that only a few men in human history, like compared to the majority ever got to reproduce, right? Men had to pay for pussy. And listen to listen, guys, there is no shame in paying for pussy because when it comes to a man and a woman, it's a transactional thing. You know, the woman will not put out for free every and another thing. Every man pays for pussy. I don't care if you got a girlfriend, you take her on dates, you buy her gifts, you do all that stuff and you had to do that stuff probably before she put it out for you before she got in a relationship with you that is still paying for puts like whether or not you want to call it that that's called indirect paying you know you're not paying up front like you would with an escort but but it's still like implied right because you're doing stuff for her and she she returns to you with her body and intimacy you know so let me tell you guys every guy pays for pussy so any any dude trying to clown you for paying an escort um would be a total a total hypocrite because they take girls out on dates and stuff in hopes that the girl will like them and put out for them as well so you know there's there is nothing wrong with paying the pussy right the the only thing with that is these women that you'll be messing with if you escort max they probably won't be like really attracted to you or they they will not you know love you but that that should not be your concern right if you just want to have sex like listen men as men we have a biological imperative as straight men we want to have sex with women that's just how we work like we just want to do it right and so if that's what you want look escort maxing legit now of course it's going to come with its own host of issues like for instance when I, I i browse some sites and a lot of it seems like fake scams it's just so funny man you can't even pay for pussy <laughs> you like it's it's a uphill battle just to find like an actual authentic um profile on these sites and then put put on top of that you know in a lot of places it's not that legal i don't think it's illegal look i live in new york i know they have a lot of laws surrounding it i don't think it's illegal but it's definitely not incentivized by the law so definitely check your laws in your state your region your country um but yeah man listen it's gonna come with this host of issues like oh you might have to watch out for stds and that type of stuff but listen guys right if you if you want to have you want to do it get your rockers off and no no women are interested in you like like that then this is a legit way of course don't spend all your money your last savings <laughs> on an escort but i'm saying like treat yourself maybe like i don't know once every two weeks once every month there's nothing fucking wrong with that man this is a legitimate solution and it's so many of you guys are afraid to just pay for for play bro to just pay for play and you know it just baffles me because everybody every man pays for play in some way or another indirectly or directly so you might as well just do it if you can man if you can do it do it and also a, a good thing about that is that you'll get to try out a whole host of women and different body types and stuff you know of course they're not gonna love you and this is another thing right for you love cells out there i know there's a lot of you out there 
you love cells that want like a real girlfriend, a com companionship and so-called love from your girlfriend. And you want to cuddle and you want to get her roses and you want to do all this romantic shit for you guys. I, I don't know what to tell you shit out of luck there. I have no solutions for you other than get lucky. Like you're shit out of luck there. And in that instance, when you're, if you're looking for love right now in the West as maybe a below average, an ugly man, even just an average man, you're shit out of luck, man. You just got to hope you get lucky and you hit like a one in 10 million unicorn woman at some random event that you go to. I don't know. You just got to hope you get lucky, man, because for that, I have no solution for that. If you want what they call genuine love, which by the way, you should definitely be deprogramming your mind from this so-called love stuff. It's, it doesn't, I'm not saying that love doesn't exist, but it doesn't exist in the way that we were brought up to believe, right? You, you might as well, you know, program your brain to not hope for love at this point. Most of us, we will never get love from women, right? We will never get love from women. So just understand that if you are a love cell, you know, I, I just don't know what to tell you, man. Especially if you missed out on teen love. I don't know what to tell you. But actually, we're going to get into the second potential solution or cult, whatever you want to call it. Geomaxing, passport browing, whatever you want to call it. Leaving the West. Leaving the hyper-competitive dating market where every woman is like hyper-feminist and doesn't want a man but only wants like the top guys. Leave this this situation and go to like Asia, Philippines, um, I don't know, South Africa, South America, where it's going to be a lot easier, right? That is a legitimate strategy. That is a legitimate solution, right? However, I will say, don't expect these women in foreign countries to be any different on a deep level. They will not love you. They will love your resources. They will love the status of you being an outsider. You know, for some guys, for a lot of guys, that's enough, bro, because you're still going to get way more play in these countries than you will in the West than you will in America, where it is hyper competitive. Right. So that is a legitimate solution. And of course, you know, not everybody can just pick up and go to another country, but do weigh your options, especially if you're white. I know a lot of you guys are white, like take take full advantage of being white and, and go to some country like South America like the Philippines, they'll love you. You'll, you'll feel like a demigod down there, right? Even even if you're like a below average white guy, they'll they'll definitely still take good care of you. And it's going to be a lot easier to escort Max in those countries to get a bunch of hoes in those countries. Or you could even get a wife, a companion in, the, in one of these countries. But do note that this wife is not likely to love you for you. This wife is likely to, you know, love you for your status of being an American or whatever, but you know, it's better than nothing. In my opinion, <laughs> I think so. At least those, those women might still like, cook for you and be traditionally feminine, right? Even if they don't really love, love you, it would be sort of like a contract, like, Oh, you provide me shelter money and she provides you blah, 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 which is better than nothing. Guys, look, we don't have many options here. That's I'm just giving you like <laughs> the literally the, the, the best that there is, right? The best that there is. Um, so yeah, guys, I mean, but do, definitely do watch out. If you go to these countries, you know, it's dang, it might be dangerous in some of them. There are third world countries for a reason. I mean, it's dangerous anywhere, but, but yeah, do watch out for that. But yeah, guys, that's, that's a second legitimate solution. Just getting out of the West, bro. And trying to find a foreign woman, you know, people, and my comments say that all the time, like just leave the West. It's it's a big trend going on now, the whole passport bro thing. So literally do it if you can, you know, but another thing, another solution, potential solution to escaping incel them, to escaping loser them is just to acquire a bunch of money somehow. I don't know how, right? Because it's not something that everybody can do, but do imagine this, right? Imagine Mark Zuckerberg. That guy is like, he's like 5'7", he's white, he looks like a lizard. There's whole memes of him on the internet looking like a lizard. Imagine if that guy never made Facebook. Imagine if he was working a normal 9-to-5 job. He would probably be an incel. 
right? But because he did manage to make Facebook and because he's a multi-billionaire, right? You know, he has access to everything at his feet. And so this third solution really is one of the only ways that an incel, a loser guy, a guy with poor genes can actually rise above and actually get some type of status in life, right? Is if you acquire a bunch of wealth. If you're a, an incel, that's going to be one of the only ways. And I can't tell you how to acquire a bunch of wealth. I don't know how to acquire a bunch of wealth. I just know that that would be a legitimate solution, right? But it's also not a solution as in true solution. Because when you think about it, think about a guy like Mark Zuckerberg, right? So yeah, he got all that money and he has a wife and stuff. But imagine his wife is probably thinking about banging a Tyrone or a Chad behind his back. But of course, she's just with him because he's a multi-billionaire. So, you know, if, even if you turn out, to be rich, but you are an ugly guy, always remember that people will always see you two-faced, right? So in terms of solution to gaining people's true admiration and respect, that can never happen if you are, like, unfortunately, a sub-five male or whatever. But you can at least gain wealth and the illusion of status, right? At the very least, you could do that. That's really... The third solution to incel them is just to acquire a bunch of money. Yes, the grind set boys are not technically wrong as much as I hate to say it. They're not really wrong. Um, but what they don't understand, what red pillars and normies, when they just say, oh, just get a bunch of money, don't understand is that it's not something that everybody can do, right? Some um, like making Facebook would require a bunch of factors have gone right a bunch of luck was probably involved in that, definitely. And also the fact that you have to have a lot of intelligence and all that stuff. So, you know, not everybody will ever make a face, but not every loser guy will ever be able to rise above in the financial department. Many of you will stay, you know, middle class, maybe even lower middle class because the middle class is disappearing in America. Um, and so for many of you, you may never be able to capitalize on this third solution and for you guys the best i can say is you know we we should try to learn the stock market you know keep long-term investments and really just be minimalist and save a bunch of money that's the best i can say for us um but yeah guys i mean those three are really the only main solutions to escaping inceldom and loserdom i mean that's really it man other than that ai yeah, girlfriends will not say this. <laughs> you know, it's it's a big trend. You know, it's a big trend going on talking about AI women saving us. I don't know, guys. Like, I'm not saying they can't, but you know, it, it just may be missing that human component that we crave from real women. At least in the coming years, maybe we might need to wait until we're dead until the technology gets so advanced. But um, I'm so I'm not counting AI girlfriends as a fourth solution. To, I'm not counting it. Literally, to me, there's only three, those three, and I can't think of any more. Actually, I have one more. So, in terms of if let's say you're a fat guy, let's say you have a high body fat percentage, um, let's say you're like six foot but you're fat, but you actually have a good bone structure underneath that fat. If you went to the gym enough and you lost enough weight, you may see like a great, a great um, change as, you know, women start to see your actual features under the fat, right? But of course, you know, I'm saying, I'm saying that this is the gym will only work in very specific circumstances. It will only like actually boost you, right? Save you. But you already, if you are a sub five male, it, it won't save you, bro. The gym won't save you. I'm just saying this in terms of if you got a fat guy that has like good genes underneath and he loses that fat, you know, maybe through the gym, maybe that would actually, that could actually in very rare situations help him ascend to beyond loserdom, beyond inceldom, right? But again, as I said in my last video, the gym is not a fix all. That is just in one specific case of a fat guy. But you know, that's really the only three ways I see out of it. 
I don't even sell them and actually that's that are actually tangible, you know, because a lot of people will tell you a bunch of stuff, a bunch of so-called improvement stuff that isn't really based on what we understand in the black pill and what we understand humans to work like, you know, so people will tell you stuff like just work on your personality or just get new hobbies, stuff like that. And as for that, you know, if you're a sub five male, if you're below, it, it'll, it won't matter how many freaking, I don't know, ping pong, ping pong balls you hit, how many hockey games you go to. No, <laughs> it'll still be difficult right? It'll still be difficult. And that's what they don't understand. But these are the only three real solutions I see. Well, actually, there's a secret. There's a secret fifth solution. So let's delve into that real quick before I go. So let's take me, for example, I'm a pretty, I'm, I would say I'm an average guy. I'm saved by my height. I am like six one. If I wasn't six one, I would have never had experiences with women. I highly doubt <laughs> I would have ever gotten anything, right? So for guys like me, though, I am very um, mental sellish as in, you know, I don't, I, even if I get thrust into social situations, I remove myself kind of like I've never went to a nightclub. I've never went to a bar. I've never, I barely go out, you know, so women don't even know me. Like I do go to work and stuff and they know me, but like for the most part, I just don't be around in social situations. So for guys like me, right that are actually at least average you know we're not totally genetically fucked we're not genetic trash we're okay right for guys like me that just avoid the social exposure one potential solution for us is just literally to just throw ourselves into the social exposure like we just have to like just forget our fears or anxiety or whatever for a moment and just literally if you want to you know get pussy or whatever and escape loser them we need to throw ourselves into these social situations because that's the only way and you know if you're if we're just average and we're not like totally ugly or fucked you know we can definitely if we throw ourselves in enough social situations something will stick eventually right that this is what they call exposure theory right so for guys like me that are average which i know most of you are actually average most of you is are is not truly over for most of you right um for the guys that it's truly over for like really ugly you guys will own, just just escort max right don't even bother throwing yourselves in social situations but for the vast majority of average guys if you are like me that avoid social situations and you're kind of mental so you just need to throw yourself into the into the frying pan and eventually something should stick you know it may not be a pretty stacy or whatever but you may be able to get something to where a girl is kind of like look really likes you for at least a time right um but yeah that so for mental cells for average mental cells that is a legitimate solution to just throw yourself at events you know just throw yourselves try to throw yourselves into like parties or clubs or whatever man because i have never let me tell you i've never went to like a i don't think i've ever went to a party like a club i'm 22 i've never like done any of that shit you know but um yeah warm approach it it can work for average guys you just need you just need to to throw yourself into the fire man and just hope that something sticks enough times like i'm not saying you'll get something instantly you know i'm not saying you'll you'll see a lot of social success instantly but you know if you just throw yourself at a thousand events at least one of them a girl would would have saw you and probably liked you if you were at least average right at least average right so yeah man so those are really the five solutions i see to escaping loserdom escaping inceldom legitimate solutions no normie bull crap these are like the only legit solutions i don't know if you guys have like a six or a seventh i guess a six would be just going monk mode but let's be honest bro like a lot of us can never go true monk it's just not in our dna bro like think think <laughs> Think about Renegade number one, who was going monk or trying to go monk. Look, look where he is now. I, I guess he's in the the ultimate monk um, place, which is the fifth dimension, aka death, whatever. Um, I guess that is the true monk place. So maybe I'm ripping on Renegade for no reason. Of course, I love Renegade. You know, I'm not ripping on. Him, I'm just saying, like this for an example. But 
most of us can really never go monk and truly abstain from women like forever we we will always like in the back of our minds really like want and desire the opposite sex and socialization so in that re regard these are the five solutions potential solutions to escaping inseldom and loserdom let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions in the comments fellas um it's been javal i hope i helped some of you guys out i hope i gave you guys some ideas to literally help help your situation you know but yeah guys that's it i'll catch you guys in the next